If you are importing a surface from native inroads into the terrain model in Inroads Select Series 3 for the first time, you may notice that the symbology did not carry over from native inroads. To import the surface from native inroads, you must go to MicroStation, Tasks, Civil Tools, Terrain Model, and select the first option, which is Create from File. Once the Select Files to Import dialog appears, we will select the existing ground original and then select Done. This will bring up the Import Terrain Models dialog where we can edit the options for import. If we try to define a feature definition existing ground, we will notice that it is not located in this list. If we go back to the feature definitions in the Project Explorer, we will notice that the existing ground is a linear feature definition. We will now create a surface feature definition for our project. You may do so by right clicking on the existing ground and select convert to surface definition. Notice that the style icon next to existing ground has changed to surface icon. Now that the feature definition is a surface feature definition, we can go back and import the surface as a terrain model. The import options allow you to import terrain only, features only, or both. In our scenario, we will import terrain only. We can now go back to the feature definitions drop down and select existing ground for the feature definition. Once we hit the import button, the process will begin. We can now close the import terrain models dialog and fit the view and notice that our terrain model is shown as default white. We will now create the settings required to display the model in color. If we review the feature definition for existing ground, we will notice that there are no element templates defined for the 3D properties. We will now create an element template with the desired settings for existing ground feature definition. We can do so by going to element menu and selecting element templates. We will now create a new folder for terrain models. We may do so by right clicking on the DGN or DGN lib name file that we have defined in the element templates and selecting new template group. We will call this terrain. Now we will create a new template by right clicking on terrain folder and select new template. In our case we will call this existing ground. Let's go ahead and link the element template to the feature definition so we can see the changes that we, as we make them. We can do so by right clicking on existing ground and going to properties, using the drop down list for 3D properties and selecting existing ground. Going back to the element template dialog, we will now right click on the property side of the dialog and select add. Notice at the bottom there is an option for terrain model and we will select all. Notice we have already changed the display with one edit. Now we will continue the edits with changing the calculated feature display. Let's say we only want to see contours and triangles. We can use the drop downs to turn off the other options. You may not have been able to see it, but the display did clear up a bit while making those adjustments. Now to change how the contours and triangles are displaying, look below the calculated feature display and notice the calculator feature settings. If we expand the contour settings, we can see the basic contour settings along with major and minors at the bottom of the tree option. If we expand major settings, we will now see where to change the display, color, level, etc. Let's make some adjustments to the majors and minors. We can change the color of the majors to red, line style 0, and weight 3. Notice the adjustments in the display. Now moving to minors. We can change the color to yellow, line weight 0, and weight 2. Moving down to triangles, 
We can see similar settings here by changing the color, style, and weight. We can now view the triangles in the active view. Let's say we only want to see the contours. We can now go back up to calculated feature display and turn them off. Element templates are a new way of displaying the items in your terrain model.